I'm telling you, oil has provided for us, has built our country. At some point, at some point, the disrespect will be confronted, will be met, and it's going to be bricks to confront this. And I'm telling you, with the rise of energy demand and the continued lies, lying to us saying, hey guys, green energy is working. We don't need the Middle Eastern oil anymore. We have cheap, abundant energy underneath our feet in America. Guys, it's not enough energy. It's not enough oil and the divestment in oil. We have only 500 active oil rigs in the U.S. It's the lowest it's been in years. They're not developing near as much oil. They're capital disciplined. They're not going to make the same mistake they made in 2019 when they added an additional million barrels of oil a day output for eight years. They added 8 million barrels of output in a short period of time. No country has ever been able to do that. And then it oil prices crashed. Why would they ever do something like that ever again? You spend billions and billions of dollars to increase your oil output just to lose billions and billions of dollars. 75 oil companies went out of business during that time. They're not going to make that mis same mistake. And larger companies own majority of the shell now because many of these smaller acquisitions have taken place. And so the bigger boys, they are using AI. They know exactly how much they need to develop and how much oil they need to produce in order to keep oil prices higher. And the left, instead of the left and the powers that be saying that they're being smart, they're being intelligent, they are accusing them of working with OPEC to curb production. They're accusing them of working with OPEC to manipulate oil prices while they are manipulating oil prices on the NYMEX and the ICE. The two major stock exchanges control 80% of the world's oil supply. 